when I'm watching it. I miss racing. Can you believe it? And sometimes I probably take it for granted. It's pretty awesome to be able to step back in the car and do it for one weekend. Even the greatest athletes in sports, the best of the best, they don't take a year off and jump right back in. It's not easy to do. This is an elite form of racing. You know, it's difficult to measure up. So I'm a little worried, but you know, the whole purpose of racing is, is what this week is about. about getting in the car just because I haven't been in a car in a really long time. It's a real blessing for me to be able to run at least one race a year and sort of relive my past and that's kind of why I picked this race. What's it been like since the crash? It was a very scary experience. We're just happy to be healthy and have a weekend like this to look forward to. We're just happy to be healthy and you know just try to get back to all the things that we're happy about in our lives. <laughs> you just gotta appreciate where you are, what you're doing, that you got it pretty good. I love my daughter so much and enjoy being around her. Look forward to watching her grow up and experiencing a lot of things with her going forward and you know that just um, made you realize that much more. Just uh ready to live our lives. I'm excited just to be back at a track. It's great to be doing something normal. Well, here we are. I got a driver's suit on, and obviously you can see that the, back, uh, the background here is Darlington Motor Speedway. We have a program today for our Dale Jr. Foundation. We have a ride around, so I'm gonna be in a two-seater this evening giving folks some laps. And I'll get a few looks at the racetrack to familiarize me with not only the line and the track itself. Might bring back some memories and things that otherwise would be doing tomorrow while we're in practice. I'm a little nervous, I can't lie. I'm real nervous about getting in the Xfinity car uh, those guys are good, and, and, and they're out for blood, man. We have the number eight back on the car this year, which I'm really excited about. I used the eight a lot in the first half of my cup career. The paint scheme that I got for this race is my dad's first cup car that he ran in 1975 at Charlotte. He borrowed a car from Ed Negree, Ed's son, Norman Negree, and dad took the car and raced it. That was his first cup race. No one knew at that time, you know, who Dale Earnhardt was. And the car really, really turned out great. Sometimes you'll design cars that look amazing on paper and then you create the real thing and it's a big disappointment. This was anything but that. So it's Thursday night. I'm in my bus at Darlington, missing my wife, missing my little baby girl, Isla. They're gonna be here tomorrow though. And speaking of tomorrow, we got a couple practices. I am really nervous. Everybody that I tell I'm nervous rolls their eyes at me. But I'm nervous, for real. 
I'm, I mean, I think fans, they're going to shake, they're going to tremble. It, it's a real special moment. I remember when I saw Junior at the Pocono race, he blew his transmission. I cried when he went into the garage. I had to hold it together. And Today I already had chills. Tomorrow it's just going to be fantastic. It's Friday morning. Yes, yeah, so today I'm going to go practice this Xfinity car. In the last 24 months, I've been in a car once at Richmond. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> I raced for 20 years with the most intense amount of pressure that you can imagine. Thank you, Dale. How are you here? Dale Jr. Why else would anybody be here? Everywhere I looked was was wanting me to win the next race. You know, wondering what was what happened last week. Wait, who's gonna win? Ah, Junior. You know, I grew up watching Junior my whole entire childhood. I am obsessed. This is all just going to the track without worrying about what I'm going to worry about five years from now. I'm just going to go to the track and put on a suit and smell and listen and just take it in and drive a car. I miss being a race car driver. I miss it a lot. Here we go. We're going to get in the car and get our first few laps on the racetrack. It's early morning on race day. Just getting up, Isla's up, Mama's up. Everybody is ready to rock. The coolest part that you told everybody is that it feels like kind of when you got into racing, you're just going for that win, but it makes it more special when Amy and Isla are here. What's it like when they get to come to the track with you and be a part of a special weekend like this? Well, it's awesome to have them here. I certainly am a whole lot more relaxed and comfortable when I'm around my family, no matter whether I'm at a racetrack or in my own house. Uh, no matter where I'm at, if they're next to me, uh, I'm in a better place. gonna be here I was like I gotta come I gotta be here I gotta be here for it we rearranged a few of my dad's dentist appointments we rearranged my move into school it's going back in time and you know getting to relive as a fan the chance to go out and cheer on Dale Jr. I'm shaking talking about it my legs start shaking already I know it puts a lot of pressure on him on days like this when he knows everybody's here everybody's here for him everybody's watching I can't even imagine what that's like. Not a lot of people on this planet that have had that kind of pressure that he's had on him his entire life. And to come out here and to do this for us, especially after you know the plane crash, he didn't have to do this. I just you know wanted to bring it back in one piece, but I think he's gonna give him hell. I think it's gonna be a good race. 
I just love that he cares so much about his fans and everybody that loves him so much that he made a commitment and he's going to do whatever it takes to live up to that commitment and, and come back and, and race for the fans and race for a little Isla for her, her to maybe understand a little bit more than she did last year at Richmond that her daddy you know was and is an amazing race car driver that millions and millions of people love and adore. I know there's a lot of people that are going to want me to do well. There's some of those same things that are in place that would have put pressure on you in the past, but I just want to go have fun and not have any pressure on points, not have any pressure about winning, losing, nothing. I can go out and just race and not worry about performance or anything. Starting 14, the number eight Helvin Chevrolet from Canaveral. You know, I, I'm not going to be able to work hard enough to help Isla or have any kind of memory of me as a driver. I'm never going to be back in the car on a regular basis. So she's never going to experience the race car driver side of me. But it's fun to be able to go to the track and stand by the car and go through that whole experience, you know, the pre-race, the anthem, all those things, and brings back a lot of memories really for me and Amy because we spent a lot of our years together at the track doing that very thing. And that's really important, that's really important to me. It's really a great moment for me. Would you like to have a career in racing, and if so, what would you like to do, Dale? Well, I, you know, I want to be a race car driver someday. It's a great sport. I love it to death, you know. Get fired up when you're ready. That's, you know, it's all I've ever known. Racing.
this really feels so great. But it was only fifth. I don't know that I've ever felt this good about any fifth place finish in my life. I mean, top fives are great, don't get me wrong. But it wasn't a win. But dang, it sure feels like one. Thanks for such a good time again, man. What do you I feel like I should be thanking everybody. There's just so many people to be thankful for, and I'm so glad that my family was here. I was just so glad they're standing by my side. Any day of the week where I'm with them, it's a great day, and I love experiencing stuff with them, and it's fun to sort of relive my past a little bit, and Amy sure loves it. Man, <laughs> Amy, when I got done driving, I got out of my car, and they parked me on the front straightaway next to pit wall behind Justin in front of Noah. And I got out of my car, and I could hear the fans. And man, when I looked up, up at them, as far as I could see from one end to the other, the whole grandstand started cheering. I couldn't believe it. It made me feel so freaking good. That would have made me cry. I got, it, it hit me hard. Yeah. It did make me feel so good. Very loved. So good. So, I'm definitely going to miss that. This is awesome, man. I, I know it, it, you know, it felt like a damn win. It's cool. Isla, she, she just really was looking around going, what is going on? It's funny watching her eyes. She is like, this is, this is new. <laughs> it's pretty interesting when she's, uh, she's in environments like that, but when she's really taking it in, it's so fun to watch. I can't wait to see her as she grows up and who she becomes. spend any time at the racetrack all the time, you don't see America like this. You don't see these little towns. These people love this. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Why does this feel so good? I don't know how to uh, explain that or quantify it or whatever. I don't know maybe if I should even worry about it, but I don't need another trophy. Is that your son or is that your driver? <laughs> I'm seeking something personal when I run these races to relive my past. Well, I, you know, I want to be a race car driver someday. It's a great sport. I love it to death, you know. It's, you know, it's all I've ever known, racing.